Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to use Golang Google Wire for dependency injection. Now I'm in my Go source directory. I will create an application using Golang Go Wire. Make directory Go Wire demo. We'll go to Go Wire demo and then go mod init GitHub perform with some south as go wire demo and then let's open it with golang this is our go mod uh, which is there is no any dependency yet now we will add go wire dependency in our project Go wire I'll just copy this go get okay now go wire has been included within our project the next thing that we want to do is we will create a new main file first I'll change this into main Funk main and there's nothing that we need to do in the main function yet first thing first we are going to create um, a repository layer as a dependency file let's say repository here then type the struct name is employee struct it has ID, integer, and also name in string. Then we will create employee repository, which is interface. The function is save employee with parameter employee. And the next thing is the implementation of employee employee repository interface which is called employee repository implementation it's a struct without any dependency next we will implement the interface and we will provide initializer for the employee repository implementation we can use auto generated value which is provided by golang employee repository interface okay, I'll just do a print here function dot format saving into database the next is we will create a service type Interface, which is interface. Let's say the function is create with parameter employee, and we will create the implementation employee service implementation, which has dependency into employee repository. Call repository. Let's implement this employee service. You just need to call the repository from this service layer. Employee. Um, the next thing that we want to do is create a provider. First provider is for the repository. Find provide employee repository, which is resulting employee repository. Return employee repository implementation. And then we'll create a provider for the employee service. Find provide employee service. It's returning employee service. 
return employee service implementation oh yeah because it will need a dependency for repository so we will need to put an argument here for the repository repository employee repository repository is employee repository repository the next thing is we will create the initializer for the repository and the service we'll create a new file um, init wire func initialize repository it will be returning employee repository wire dot build provide employee repository then return yeah. next is func initialize service it has dependency from employee repository then we will provide in the argument employee repository then we will return the employee service wire dot build provide employee service return here in order to enable the dependency injection with google wire we need to put a flag in this file by putting a command on top of package definition let's build wire inject once we save there is additional command here which is directly provided by our ide once we already have these uh, two commands we can type wire in our terminal in order to generate the generated file from the google wire the generated file has been successfully generated which is called wire again here let's see first it will initialize the repository and the second it will initialize the service now let's go to our main file again we will call initialize service employee service goes to initialize service from the initialize repository then employee service dot create employee the new employee ID1 scope John 2. Okay, let's try to run the application. As you can see here, um, repository is successfully invoked, but uh, there is a wrong printing variable here. So let's see. So it should be there is an argument for displaying the employee variable. Let's start to run again. Cool. Now we can see that uh, we can invoke employee repository and also employee service via dependency injection. That's all for the video today. See you on the next one.